it's Donovan Evercher from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Race number six is the KRA East Coast Cup listed. It's over 2,000 meters. It's a total of seven runners that will go to post at this early stage with no changes to report. But before we give you our selections, we've got a rerun of number two, Dawn of a New Day, when running at Scottsville on the 16th of April, as well as an interview with Dean Canameyer the leader and Queen of Shadows is the first one to challenge towards the outside of that Hollywood bound Dawn of a New Day is also trying to get into the race, Supreme Quest, Bella Sacombe on the inside, it's still Southern Cape the leader, down the inside, Supreme Quest on the outside of that, Dawn of a New Day Southern Cape, Supreme Quest, Dawn of a New Day, Southern Cape, Makara's taking off late, on the outside Dawn of a New Day though, and Dawn of a New Day won at Southern Cape second close for third, Supreme yeah, she's really uh, matured into a nice filly. If you looked at it a year ago, you look at it today, uh, she's gone around behind and uh, lovely, lovely big filly. And, you know, when she won the Scarlet Lady the other day over 1750, she won it exceptionally well. Um, and uh, she had a lovely Denon cult at the cells this year, big black horse, which was also a of a big scopey filly like, like she's, or he was a cult. But nevertheless, Try over 2,000 metres. Um, I said to Kevin this time, this is the right race to find it if she goes 2,000 metres or not. Although she's carrying top weight. But, uh, but she did win the Scarlet Lady very well. She ran a good second also behind Canadian Sunset, I think, in the Flamboyant. So she is definitely a better filly this year. She's matured as a four year old. Um, and uh, she's got a bit of weight to carry, but she's in good shape. Well, we've uh, had a good look at uh, those reruns and listened to Dean Canamea talking about his runner at number two, Dawn of a New Day. Just uh, reading in between the lines, I can see that they're not, not quite sure if she's going to get the trip 2,000 meters comfortably. My first selection here, Rahil, is number one, Time Flies from the Brett Crawford Yard. Beautiful ped pedigree there. It's a daughter of dynasty and a form speaks for itself. This is my play for the day. I really, really like number one, Time Flies here. I'm with you, Devon. I'm with you in a big way here. Number one, Time Flies, she's the top choice for me as well. She's obviously returning off a rest, but that's not a concern. Drawn in gate number one. I think she's a filly still under the radar. She's a four-time winner, just like Dawn of a New Day. And she receives three kgs from, obviously, her 18th, six, uh, seven points lower on 94, whereas Dawn of a New Day is on a 101. But I think this filly, she's going to win a fair share of races. And I think she could even get uh, a nice feature for the Hollywood Syndicate. And a 2,000-meter trip, no issue for her at all. She'll see every inch of the distance. She ran third in the penultimate start over the trip. And last time out, it was quite, in, quite interesting that they opted to go to the front with her. And she won from start to finish because she's been a horse that they've ridden cold. And she's usually come through with a late, strong run. She's a horse that when they drop out, she finishes off a race very, very well. And we can see that they've obviously got, they've got a few options now in terms of how they can ride her. But she's drawn positively. They're going to get into a striking position for free. So uh, she's, uh, I, I think the race could be won straight out of starting to all gates. If she manages to get a cheap, cheap lead, yeah, I think she could be a hard horse to pick back. But obviously, if they sit her in and then it's, it becomes a sprint form, then maybe Dawn of a New Day could be a horse in with a chance here. Yeah. But it definitely does look to be a race between numbers one and two. I can't see any other horse possibly getting involved. Sister Light, she's got around uh, two and a half lengths to turn around with Dawn of a New Day. Does she see our 2,000 meters? Only the race will tell. But I think it's between numbers one and two, yeah. But uh, for Devon and myself, we're both firmly in the camp of number one. Time flies. Could we take a chance and bank at this horse in the pick six? I'm going to take a chance and bank. I think she's absolute quality and uh, she's a horse on the up. Yeah, certainly. Let's take our chances and bank at number one. Time flies in uh, race number six. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem, you deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account, 
you withdraw, which I do very occasionally, and uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.